Mori Borderlands 3 controversy, as it's rumored that 2K Games, the publisher of that series, sent goons to intimidate a YouTube streamer. Yo, what the heck is, you know what, let's get into this, man. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Can you do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because guess what? I'm not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. All right, now, first and foremost, here's what I got to say. This is a rumor. This is a rumor. This has not been confirmed or, or responded to by 2k games in regards to this with that being said i've watched the video from this youtube streamer i've watched various follow-up accounts um this guy is a big time borderlands 3 fan he's famous he got one of those infamous blue check marks on youtube you know what i'm saying so i believe that there's a lot of validity in this story so what is the story here it goes YouTuber Submato claims that two goons were sent to intimidate him over a Borderlands 3 stream that he recently made public on his YouTube channel. Now, for those of you that don't know, Borderlands 3 is the third coming game. Well, no, I'm sorry, like the fourth or fifth coming game in the series because there's the Handsome Jack and the prequel and all this other stuff. But it's, it's, it's the next game in the Borderlands series that's coming down the pike. Um, it's due to release, I believe in September, 2019. And prior to this, it was mirrored in other controversy, mainly because of its uh, head of, Gearbox's head of studio, the developers of the team, head of studio, Randy Pitchford, and his crazy zane himself. You know what I'm saying? With that said, this is, I think, the biggest controversy yet. And all that other stuff that was happening uh, in regards to Borderlands was crazy enough. But this just, this takes the cake, baby. So, Borderlands 3 apparently has testers, like all games. And one tester, unwarranted by 2K, went and streamed some test footage that he was doing of Borderlands 3. And he made it public. And other people made it public because Borderlands 3 is in high anticipation. And your homie Sup Maddo got a hold of this video. And he's a big Borderlands fan. He got a big Borderlands following and a big Borderlands channel. So he started, you know, um, airing it too and talking about what he was seeing. Only for the appreciation of the game. He wasn't trying to do it for no other, no, no nefarious reasons, really. But what happened was, what got 2K all worked up about it supposedly is that there might be some codes uh, being shown in the video or something like that. I haven't seen the video. You know what I'm saying? This is all early to your boy, but apparently there's codes being shown in the video, and then the streamer's doing something nefarious like striking his hands across the keyboard or something's going on to where it got 2K worked up because they're thinking somebody's trying to act something. Something nefarious might be going on. So. Instead of doing the normal due diligence um, and, and following up with, you know, a cease and desist, you know what I'm saying, means they go heavy handed. They abuse the YouTube copyright policy and they try to get your boy Sup Maddo's channel banned, right? They don't talk to him, all this other stuff. They can reach the dude. He's, 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 he's a big time uh, YouTuber and a Borderlands fan. They can communicate with him, but they don't do that. They do. They try to get his channel banned. They abuse the copyright policy. And then they send goons to his house. My man, Sup Maddo, said, yo, all of a sudden, unbeknownst to him and why they was there, two mugs dressed in suits was going through his property. He said he was scared as hell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And come to find out, after they came on his property and talked to him, that they were two private investigators that were hired by 2K to shake my man down on this whole matter. All right. So here's my thoughts. I get it on the surface. People may look at the story and say it's just over the top, or they may laugh at it, you know, 
uh, 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 2K set their ma its own mafia goons, right? <laughs> you know, as a rehash of its own series that it publishes. They set their own mafia goons in real life to go shake down this nerd, you know what I mean? But really, it's not funny. We got a problem with 2K. Look, I think 2K is out of control. When you just look at beyond this, look at everything from 5,000 feet, y'all. This is why this is a big deal to your boy, if this is true. Just let's go start with the 2K basketball series. All right. They done gave everybody the okie doke. They dropped the price of the game to $3 to get people all excited for 2K19, right? It was like, ooh, ooh, this is a good deal. Only to pepper the game with ads. Then even before they did that with the series, you know what I'm saying? They had the, the overindulgement of VP points. That was just way over, over the top and heavy handed. Then let's go to the aforementioned Borderlands series where they did the very unpopular Epic Games exclusive deal with them on PC. Now, you know how your boy feels about the Epic Games deals. I don't like them, but I can understand and sympathize with smaller devs that may want to do this, right? It makes sense for them, even though I don't like it. But a big dev like 2K, the publishers of Grand Theft Auto for crying out loud, they don't need that money. It's pure greed. You know what I'm saying? They do that to slight their consumer base on PC. Now this. You sending goons to my man's house over a stream and this dude ain't done nothing but celebrated your product and your service with him? I think that 2K Games is sipping on some of that EA Activision Kool-Aid, bro. I, and I, look, and I'm not hacking it. Me personally, I kind of went to this story because there's this new movement that's trending on Twitter. It was called, I believe, hashtag ban Borderlands 3. And, and attempts to try to get people to understand the story, see what's going on, shed light on it, and for them to say, you know what, enough is enough with 2K, and enough is enough with all this controversy with Borderlands, we're banning the game. We're not boy boycott Borderlands 3, I think it is. And in response to that, you got people upset. Well, I really like Borderlands, so I'm not going to do it, whatever. Who cares? Who cares if they did that to that guy? And to me, that's an absurd way to look at things if you're a gamer. We're a community, right? You know what I'm saying? And we ain't got to be all coffee shop. But as long as I've been on in this, we've been looking out for each other. So if this story is true, you idiots out there that say it don't matter that it happened to somebody else, do you believe that if it happened to my man Sup Matter on Monday, they coming for your dumb asses on Tuesday, maybe Wednesday if they feel nice about it? They're setting the precedent here that's telling 2k that this type of stuff is okay that intrusion and abusive policies are okay this goes beyond just sending two people in suits to somebody's house because i'm telling you they can't send them suits to mm2k's house it's not going to be a pretty affair but again they're pushing the envelope they're going past your means as a business over something like this. This is silly. They could have handled this way better. And they're being too heavy handed like they've been doing in, in recent history. As I just laid out in the previous uh, uh, points that I made. Stop giving these companies an inch because if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. And the end result is going to be something we don't like. So I'm not mad at the people. I may not personally be doing it, but I'm, I'm not mad at the people that want to do this. And don't be the dummy out there talking about, well, it don't matter if they did this to them. They going to keep doing, they may not send goons to your house, but they may do something crazy, like make you pay for ads in the game, like how Bobby, Bobby Kotick want to do. EA, Activision, and it seems like now 2K are of a different breed. And greed is consuming the company. And when we see stuff like this, we do got to speak up about it. You know what I'm saying? And we got to shed light on it. Don't be ignorant of it because you like a product or a service. Now, that to me is the, is the definition of a true corporate slave. That no matter what said company does, as long as they give you some little dribblets of, of good uh, 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 kibbles and bits <laughs> to chew off on, they can do whatever they want. They ever they, whatever they want to the consumer uh, brass, and that's not acceptable to me. And that's it from the boy MM2K. Hey yo, 
Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, you can come with me, come at me, it don't matter to your boy. And, yo, check me out on the various platforms that I'm on. You know, follow my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. Follow my peoples at PNTS Network. And definitely follow your boy on the Hard Knock Digital Culture, where we highlight hardcore gaming and media, including anime and martial arts. That is on twitch.tv forward slash MOS2000. And with that being said, hey, yo, keep your head on the swivel. Don't let these scummy companies, you know, get away with this stuff. Make them forced to do better and don't buy their products. And with that being said, y'all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.